ahead of the start of the 2018 Formula One season, we caught up with legendary track designer Herman Tilke, whose auction-based company has now produced more than 70 tracks around the world, including most of the modern era F1 circuits. How do you respond to criticism of your tracks being very similar, it is easy to criticize and impossible to make anything 100% right, but there is always a reason for what we do, and the budget is always one of the limiting factors. I've had people say, why can't you make the straight 100 meters longer? Because we don't own the land, how much input do the top level drivers have, of course, we talk to them. The problem is always that we try to make a track difficult for drivers, but we have the best drivers in the world, and in Formula 1 the best technology. There are three elements to the racing, the car, the driver and the track, and two of those are close to perfect. If you gave the Formula 1 cars to amateurs, you'd have more exciting races. Formula 1 2018, everything you need to know before the Australian GP. Why not use gravel traps instead of tarmac runoff areas to punish mistakes harder? Asphalt is safer, for cars at least. You can shorten run off by a third compared with gravel, and when it spins, it stops very quickly. If the car go into gravel at high speed, they can skip over it, and you don't slow down when you're flying. There's another reason. I know people say that, if there is only gravel, it is more of a penalty if you go off, which is true. But if you have a private track day and somebody goes off in their Porsche AMG, then they are likely going to be paying for new parts. 7,000 euros is an expensive spin. Are you still a Formula 1 fan? Who do you think will win in 2018? I'm an absolute fan. I always will be. I'm an international guy. I always say I'm a German by accident, but I still like the two German drivers, Sebastian Vettel and Nico Hülkenberg. I hope they do well.